Since 1988, the Workplace Hazardous Materials Information System, also known as WIMIS, has protected Canadian workers from hazardous chemical products by ensuring they have the information and training needed to work safely. In 2015, Canada began making changes to WIMIS to include the Globally Harmonized System, or GHS, a system developed by the United Nations to help standardize hazard communication around the world. The goal was to create a program that ensures information regarding controlled products is readily available, sets standards for the type and amount of information made available by suppliers, and reduces occupational illness, injury, accidents, and disease. This new program is known as WIMIS 2015. Since the end of 2018, WIMIS 2015 and the implementation and adaptation of GHS have been fully enforced across Canada. The main objective of WIMIS 2015 and of this course is to increase your knowledge of controlled products in the workplace and their safe handling practices. Upon completion of this course, you should be able to Describe legislated WIMIS 2015 responsibilities for employers, supervisors, and workers. Explain WIMIS 2015 education and training requirements. Identify controlled product classes, categories, and pictograms. List and describe routes of exposure. Identify possible health effects of exposure to controlled products. List potentially required PPE. Explain the difference between supplier and workplace labels. Outline procedures for transferring controlled products to another container. And identify the sections of a safety data sheet. Information in this course will be represented in five chapters. Chapter 1. WIMIS 2015 Responsibilities Chapter 2. Hazard Classification Chapter 3. Exposure Chapter 4. Labels, and Chapter 5, Safety Data Sheets. Let's begin. 